Is The Good Nurse a good movie? We're going to talk about it. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking the brand new Eddie Redmayne and Jessica Chastain film based on a true story that just dropped on Netflix. It's The Good Nurse. Let's do it. So Amy, a compassionate nurse and single mother struggling with a life-threatening heart condition, is stretched to her physical and emotional limits by the hard and demanding night shifts at the ICU. But help arrives from Charlie, a thoughtful and empathetic fellow nurse. But after a series of mysterious patient deaths set off an investigation, that points to Charlie as the prime suspect, Amy is forced to risk her life and the safety of her children to uncover the truth. This movie is rated R, but strictly for language. It's very rare you see an R-rated film just for one thing. It doesn't feel like the craziest thing. Uh, it's one of those R-rated movies that I'd say you can watch with older kids. The director here is actually a writer and the writer of some of the better movies of the 2000s, The Hunt, and uh, more recently, Another Round. And you guys know how big of a fan I was of that movie, one of my favorites of that year. Hasn't directed a lot, but Mind Hunter, two episodes, that's an example, and that's that's really the only example you need. So I was excited to see what type of movie this was going to be again, based on a true story. And it's funny. This is one my wife was really interested in. She works in the medical field. She's very aware of this story. It's a shocking true story, not just looking at this movie, but looking at what happened in general. Patients dying, no one knows why. No one knows to point the finger at someone who has worked at numerous hospitals, has a background clearly, but hasn't necessarily been implicated or approached by these hospitals, by the people that he works or worked under. Uh, there are a lot of individuals, a lot of hospitals at fault in this thing. And you see as the story plays out, and I'm not going to spoil how it plays out, but it is a true story. You know exactly kind of what's going on in this film, but it's giving us the depth and the details of what goes on to kind of piss us off a little bit more, knowing it's not just him that's at fault. It's other people. But then you have this good nurse, played by Jessica Chastain, who is befriended by this individual, not only inside of the hospital confines, but outside of the hospital. And she's going through something personally that she doesn't really have anyone there to help her deal with this. And Charlie Cullen, well, he comes in, he's very helpful, sweet. He assists with numerous things, uh, goes and hangs out with she and her kids outside of work. So there are a lot of things going on that point to this person being a good guy, being a good individual. And the fascinating thing about the movie is not only how it plays out, how things are being set up for whoever's responsible for this to get away with what is happening. What is happening is tragic. It's sad. You know, especially I mentioned my wife working in the medical community and then seeing how something like this could actually happen and the blame being shifted all over the place and no one wanting to take responsibility for allowing this person to jump from hospital to hospital, it's sad. It makes sense. You see people and companies operate like this all the time, not wanting to take the blame, not wanting to be at fault. It's unfortunate. Uh, it's kind of gross if you look at it from that perspective. So not only was I interested and intrigued by this movie, I was kind of pissed off by this movie. <laughs> I watched him like, everyone should take responsibility and go down in flames. But unfortunately, um, it didn't work out like that. Let's talk about the performances really quick. Jessica Chastain is great. Some people will tell you otherwise. I thought she was really good in this movie. Uh, she did exactly what she needed to do. She's compelling. There is that story there that is giving her more in terms of character development that you can latch onto, which I appreciate. Eddie Redmayne is the character of note, though, and I will be honest with you, he didn't do too much in this movie. His performance is very subtle, but I feel as if it needed to be subtle, so I can't look at it and say, well, he's a stand down the role. No one else could have played Charlie. That's not the case. There is one scene in particular where the character is finally able to show some emotion. There's a bit of a breakdown involved. I have a feeling some people are going to take that scene out of context and use it as a meme. It just, maybe I just sparked that idea. That's that's my bad. But I felt like he did exactly what he needed to do in that moment. Such a quiet and subtle performance all the way throughout. The pacing of the movie, the slow nature of the storytelling, and just the quiet feel of the film 
is it going to work for everyone, right? You know, I mentioned the director of two episodes of Mindhunter, and this is kind of a crime thriller of sorts. It's not all that thrilling of a film, but it's just an interesting movie. Sometimes you watch a film, it's interesting. It's not as captivating as you need it to be. You're not on the edge of your seat the entire time, and I wasn't. I just, I watched this movie, I felt the pacing in points, it's very slow, the way that it develops, but it's an interesting true story, and I look at the true story thinking, I don't know how else they would have handled this. Maybe the story itself wasn't built for a two-hour feature film, but what we got, the way that it played out, and both sides of the stories, not only is it Chastain and Redmayne, but you have these two cops who are doing the investigating. There are scenes where you see their frustration, they're trying to solve all of these problems that continue to pop up, but they're struggling, and their only way in is this good nurse. So when you're going back and forth and you're finally able to see them show some emotion as you go throughout the movie, those are the moments that pay off. So if you're willing to kind of dig deep into this true story and let it, I don't want to say captivate you, but take you on its journey, then I think you're going to enjoy this and I think you're going to enjoy seeing this story come to life and feeling that frustration uh, that everyone probably felt at the time. Those are my thoughts on The Good Nurse. Before I give you guys my number, my score, if you're still here and you enjoyed this video, drop that like down below. It would help this channel unless you don't want to. If that's the case, I understand. The Good Nurse does its job by thoughtfully delivering this true story. The storytelling is straightforward and occasionally dry, but the performances are captivating enough to keep it interesting, and I found this to be an interesting experience. I'm going a 70% with my score. If you're interested in the story, I think you'll find interest in this film. Nothing more, and maybe nothing less. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it big time. Come back. Plenty more reviews this weekend.